So how am I feeling? Let me see. I I have weird days. I have I have really good days, and then I have like days where I just I feel weird. Welcome to the Edward White Audio Thoughts. This is going to be a sort of special edition. Um, uh, sort of, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call it Story Time with Edward White, um, and I'm going to. This is going to be hopefully something that we do going forward. Um, the reason for me doing this is purely to give myself a little bit of clarity as to, to sort of what I'm doing. Because um, honestly, I've just, obviously with everything that's going on, uh, the date today is the 30th, Monday the 30th of March, 2020. So obviously we're kind of in the midst of um, the coronavirus and, and the UK has gone on to lockdown. Um, things are changing very rapidly uh, for everyone um, sort of in this world. And it's, it's all very confusing. So I, I wanted to make this video and this podcast um, to kind of just outline what I need to do and, and how I'm going to stay focused. Um, because, yeah, honestly, it's just, it is so confusing, it's scary, and there's there's a lot going on at the moment. And um, hopefully if I, if I can share how I'm dealing with it and how I, how I propose to deal with it, that could help a few people. Um, so yeah, where, where do we begin? We, we begin with none of us saw this coming. <laughs> um, this is something that like, it's, we, we've heard about it. We saw it sort of happening in, in China and then we saw it happening in Italy. And I, I honestly don't think a lot of people thought it would happen to us. And I, I don't think a lot of people thought it would be at the scale that it is to us. Um, but then I suppose I thought they, they probably thought that in, in Italy and, and other places around the world. Um, but yeah, it's, it's very scary in terms of everything's just shut down. So I've, I know for one, like I've lost clients, I've lost, um, my workload has just gone from probably about 80% to, to down to about 20%. Um, and it's, it's fucking scary. It's very scary in terms of how quickly it's just changed. It's not been a subtle, um, like you can't, you, you don't see the markets declining and then, and then, and then you hit a recession. It's like, this has just happened like essentially overnight. Well, I tell you, it's happened within the space of about three weeks because I remember I went, I went to Prague at the end of February and I got back on the 4th of March. So I had six days in Prague, got back on the 4th of March, and it felt weird coming back on the 4th of March. Like, stuff really started to change then. Um, I mean, like, God send that I went away when I did, because Prague got shut down, I think, about three or four days after I got back. Um, and it, it, yeah, it was just, it was very scary to to kind of think that one, I could have been out there and that, that would have been freaky as anything. Um, and two, like how quickly this has all happened. Um, so yeah, just like, that's one thing to kind of realize is that n none of us saw this happening. None of us saw this like, none of us anticipated this. And I think if you can kind of understand that and you can kind of uh, be okay with that, um, I think your life will get a lot easier. Um, <laughs> a, a, a lot of the majority of, of people who live in the UK have become teachers as well as um, working from home, which is a challenge within itself. Um, like I'm quite enjoying it in terms of working with the working with Bella, and yeah, I, I think we've got weirdly closer, um, which is really nice, and that's that's kind of I think. For me, I see a lot of families getting closer, um, especially like sort of one parent um, child dynamics. I think it will lead to a lot of people spending more time with their kids. Um, and yeah, just, just be grateful for the time that you can spend with your kids because it, it, it don't sort of wish it away. Um, that's all I'd say. 
and yeah, just just uh, if you're in that boat, um, know that there's resources online. Look at like one thing I would say is like look at what your kids really enjoy, um, and like really sort of push for that because then the other stuff will follow. Like their confidence will be built up. They'll uh, they'll just feel more good about themselves. And like it's like like adults do it to be honest. Like they're nothing that's dissimilar to kids. <laughs> um, you, you like you want to do the stuff that you feel good at like and then once you feel good you've got that momentum you've got that kind of drive to do other stuff and like that's how I sort of position my work and my kind of what I'm doing um is I try and do the stuff that I know I want to do and I know that I'm good at get that out of the way and then I can focus on the more creative stuff and the more um sort of stuff that takes the work and the, the sort of brain power um so yeah do that with kids and and another thing is have a separate workspace because, um, yeah, like it, it. For me, I work at home, so there's been not really any change in that sense. Um, I just can't go out to meetings, <laughs> but I work at home. I work from home, um, and like having that space, like so, in where I'm shooting this video now, is a different color to to the rest of the house, um, and that gives a kind of dynamic of like the psychology of working and then relaxing like don't do any work over there just do work here um and it will help you break it up um and then yeah weird <laughs> this is gonna sound weird but like weirdly set a routine um so <laughs> what me, me and Val is like we pretend that we're going to school she pretends that we're going to school i pretend that i'm the teacher um she comes into school like with a little backpack. She's got it all packed and like, yeah, like have have like have a little play, make it fun, and um, because like, it's gonna be it's weird. It's weird for adults. It's gonna be weird for kids. Like God knows what's going through their minds. Um, so yeah, make it fun. Make it like like oh yeah, we're going to school. Like let's let's pack our bags and then like she walks out the door and walks to the classroom and um, yeah, like I I just think if you can make it fun make it what they enjoy and then work on the stuff that you know they need to work on like you, you'll just boss it and i think yeah um like i don't know how every, everyone else is getting on um it'd be interesting to find out but yeah i think i'm enjoying it yeah um okay let's let's go on to more work focused stuff now because this one is it's going to be different for everyone, like depending on what business you're in, um, depending on, yeah, I, I would just say if you can work, then do it. Um, if you can adapt, then do it. Don't go in, don't fall into the sales, sales sort of trap though. That's what I feel a lot of people are doing is they're falling into uh, gift cards or they're falling into, into ways that they can sort of make quick money. Um, and to me, that seems like a bad idea. Sorry, I need a drink of water then. I have another one. <laughs> sorry, podcast. Um, pardon me. <laughs> I'm really sorry for that. <laughs> um, anyway, back onto the onto the subject of like, yeah, working from home. If you can do work from home, don't go into sales. Um, a lot of people have gone, and I think like adversity shows what people are really like. Um, weirdly, and quite. Um, it's, it's quite nice that it does do that because I think it does wean out the people who uh, are just idiots and, and almost doing it for, for a free ride and then those who are deadly serious about it and, and want to persevere, want to fight. Um, yeah, it, it, yeah, just keep going, keep doing what you're doing. Um, I know it's hard, like look at ways that you can help help your community, look at ways you can help um on a, on a sort of individual basis, uh, look at what your business could do for the community. Um, because yeah, there's nothing really else you can do if you're losing clients. And that's, that's one thing, like maybe reach out to clients that you've already got. I know they don't want to spend money, which is another hard thing, but like offer them like a really good deal. Like they've worked with you before. Just say, look, I'm, I'm struggling. I get that you're in the same boat. Um, but like, can we do this work for you? Uh, we, we'll do it heavily discounted because um, we want to. We want to sustain the relationship and and 
Yeah, um, I'd say like if you want to do sales, then do it with your original customers. Do it with people who you've already got. Um, yeah. What else am I going to talk about? I'm going to talk about social media content. That was one thing I was going to talk about. Um, so like when it comes to social media content, like I see a lot of people like making content, which is great, and making um, content at scale because obviously they've got the time to make the content. But I think try and think about think about it in a, in a logical way of like what is your content doing for your audience? So is it bringing them value? Is it entertaining them? Is it informing them? Is it... Um, what how, what value are you bringing to your audience by by putting that that piece of content that specific piece of content um don't just blanket people with with a sales pitch because it won't work um and like be very vulnerable on me um cuz yeah people people want to see vulnerability they want to see they they want to see um like the rawness they want to see they want to see mobile phone content. They want to see like, yeah, really, really authentic content. And um, because, like I said, like we've we, none of us have been through this before, so it's very weird. Um, and if you can almost like this is probably going on psychological, but if you can like relate to someone on a personal level, uh, you, you, your attachment to that person is so much higher. Um, and then your brand authority. So like this is going into sort of deep level branding, um, but like it's easy to do now because you've got the time to do it. You've got the audience who are watching your stuff. Um, and then, yeah, like to make authentic content is not hard. Um, yeah, like just do it. Like make it. Make make that video that you wanted to make. Make um, that video, like make that image. Tell tell people what you're doing with your kids. Tell tell people what the dog's done. Do you know what I mean? Like get really personal, get weirdly personal, and um, I think it'll work for you. Um, yeah, I I um, and like, I I didn't think I would feel like this. Um, I I mean yeah, it's just like the type A sort of person I am. Um, but yeah, it felt, felt weird. And it's, for me, feels like that lack of control. Like this start of the year, I just felt like at life was going the way I wanted it to. Like it started to feel like it got real sort of traction. Um, and that's kind of been taken away, which is like a real shame, but I'm kind of almost grateful that it's happened when it happens. Like I've not, had the business established enough that it's like really hit me sort of de detrimentally. Like I don't like feel like it would impact me so much financially. Um, and that's purely on the basis that I, uh, this is really personal, but yeah, I, I paid myself, um, what was it? 11,700, uh, let's say 11,700. Uh, last year in 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 wages um, and yeah I I actually had such a good year in terms of like what I was doing um, what I spent my money on like I didn't I didn't need to go on that holiday or go on those holidays like I went on one nice holiday um, I I went away a couple of evenings um, out a couple of evenings like to, to gigs and and raves and stuff and. Yeah, I had like such a good year. And I just want to like reiterate, like you don't need the money to, to be happy. Like you don't need the money. I, I've said this in my content and if need be, I'll, I'll find a piece of content and add it in here. <laughs> but like you don't need, yeah, you don't need money to be happy. You don't need, stop looking for materialistic things to, to sort of fill that void. Um, and hopefully by this happening, like it will make us see that we don't need to go out and we don't need to go to uh, the the play center or the cinema or the uh, all these places that, that uh, like I read an article and um, it was it was something like families spend on average seventy six pound per week on entertainment expenses and that that baffled me 
just in the sense that like, I don't think I'd ever spend that much money going, like we'd maybe go to like a theme park or two on a, a sort of the odd weekend in the summer um, or go to the beach for one day, but like not every week. <laughs> um, yeah. And I, I, maybe I'm just completely different from other people. Maybe I'm tight, maybe I'm whatever. But I, I genuinely think like people need to look how they're spending their money and this is going to make them. Um, and yeah, I've got a very supportive um, family who are, they're always looking out for me and I'm, I'm so grateful for that. Like even from the start, like when I didn't really anticipate how fucked this would be um they've been there for me and yeah I, I just cannot thank them enough um they've always been there for me financially um and they've it, it, sort of ever since i've started the business they've they've helped me out and um yeah even, even with bella and stuff like that so in terms of like that kind of thing i'm, I'm really grateful and like, i'm going to be transparent with you like they helped me out um with like buying the clothes for Bella's school and stuff, and like I said, I would I would pay, um, but m my mum was very adamant that she would. So, yeah, um, but yeah, I, I just thought I'd be transparent with you because I'm trying to not bullshit, which I could feel myself just doing then. Um, so yeah, no, I, I I hope that you found this useful, and I hope like I'm going to try and do this every. I don't know how often, um, but I'm going to try and do it about different subject matters. So if you have anything that you think I should cover or anything that like you would like me to sort of discuss about my personal life that you, you, you've always kind of wanted to ask, then um, please just ask because, yeah. Um, yeah, but yeah, it'd be interesting. Thank you very much for listening. Um, this has been the story time with Edward White talking about the coronavirus, how I'm handling it and not having a mental breakdown. <laughs> um, no, thank you very much for watching or listening. Um, yeah, have a great evening or, or afternoon or day, whatever time of it is. And let me know your feedback because it, it does honestly help. Thank you.